this one's start over from scratch. So, welcome to Code Channel. I'm Code, and we're going to be playing Dark Souls 2, Scholars of the First Sin. Do more cleanup. Audio is better. Perfect. I was, like, really confused. I was like, the mic shouldn't be that much lower, because, uh, you know, uh, I didn't really change the mic much. It was more that I changed the game volume itself. Um, so, yeah, I did a little bit of play off stream uh, between last stream and this stream, and also I couldn't get a hold of Tristan tonight, so I'm just running solo for now. If he pops on, uh, I might see if he's up for it, but uh, I'm starting a little bit late tonight, too. So, um, But yeah, I did a little bit of play off stream. I mostly just cleared uh, the gutter, uh, did a little bit of, like, went to the first bonfire in Black Gulch. Um, I'm at the fight before the skeleton army, skeleton king or whatever, that spot too, so I covered a little bit of ground off stream, but honestly none of it was eventful. I recorded it all offline, just in case something amazing happened, and you guys missed nothing. It was really slow. Okay, so... I f whoa. Ah, oh, crap baskets. They can come in here and fight me if they want to. I'm ready. Actually, I'm curious if he's going to come around this corner. I'm going to try and push him off the thing. It's a good idea. Oh, I see a monster. I see... Oh! Oh! They, he, he didn't make it. The monsters pushed him off. Cool. I'm okay with that. Such teamwork. Oh, I got their attention now. Alright, well, so basically, we're going to fight some bosses. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of poison, honestly. There wasn't, there was not much that was worth watching. Uh, I also skipped over the Rat King's fight, because it's just like, eh, whatever. Not really that important. We're on the clock, so, you know. Okay, come on, Luke Teal, let's go. We're gonna fight, uh, what's his face? I forget what his name is. I mean, I was really hoping I wouldn't get poisoned. Ah, <laughs> oh, Luke Teal, are you getting... Are you fighting? Are you trying to fight? Don't do that. There. I'll chill out here, let the poison run down. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> he didn't make it. Put on... Actually, I think my one of my rings broke. I'll put on this one, then. Eh, this is good enough. I can't remember this guy's name. I want to say melting, and I'm like, it's not melting, but he kind of is melting, so. <laughs> He's like inverse melting, sort of. Uh, He's not really melting, I guess. Maybe a little. He's the one building these shitty statues. What an asshole. The Rodden. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so we got Lucatil with us, so hopefully we can keep Lucatil alive. This was kind of a weird fight. This was a fight that gave me a little bit more trouble than I was expecting. The first time I did it. Oh, oh. God fucking damn it, Lucatil! <laughs> you got in my way! Ow! God damn it, that really hurts. Oh wow, she actually took a fair amount. Oh, she's taking big damage. We gotta get moving. Jesus. I'm actually kind of. Whoa. This is kind of intimidating. Okay, it's going for me. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, burst, okay. It's fair. He probably needs a burst, honestly, because... Uh, okay, we gotta kill this guy fast, because Lucatil's not in great shape. And Lucatil's dead. Yeah, we'll have to, like, call it this fight. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, that it was one of those things that it was like, I would have rolled it just fine if Lucatil didn't get in the way. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, eh, whatever. That was one of those fights where it was so tight between Lucatil's health bar and the bosses, I didn't want to press my luck and beat the boss with, uh, without Lucatil. So I figured it was safer just to take the take the death. <laughs> To just get killed and give it another shot. Jeez, that was a lot of damage though on Lucatil. I'm really surprised because she was really tanky in like the last fight. Goddamn poison. I hate this area. There. Yeah, true. True, true. Definitely not as tanky here, so we gotta work fast. Lucatil, are you poisoned? You're poisoned, aren't you? See, that that's that's not good, right? You've Can you heal them? Like can you heal AIs? Hmm. Oh well, we'll give it a shot. I'm gonna like we're rolling fast. Get our souls. Ooh. Jesus. It was, <laughs> it was really sticky. <laughs> Burst? Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was a grab or not. Well, I'm, he's not focused on Luke Teal right now, so there we go. Do a little bit of dam ouch. <laughs> Do a little bit of damage. Oh. oh no! Wow, that is some reach. <laughs> oh, with magic, gotcha. I don't know, actually, like, in complete honesty, The thing with Blight Town is you're poisoned all the time, but you're not staggered all the time. Because the thing that bothers me about uh, about Black Gulch is the fact that it's the staggering. You're constantly getting staggered by the fact that poison hits you and staggers you. That's what like bothers me about this area. It's also like not very big. It's like you know, there's not much here. It's a very pretty area though. That said. Let's get rid of these, so hopefully Lucatil doesn't get poisoned. And eh, she's probably poisoned. Come on, come on, hurry. I don't know. To me, like, this is... There's probably an easier way to go through this area, but I don't know it. Uh, Blighttown, Blighttown feels like it has necessity to the first Dark Souls, to a certain extent. This area... I think it's just because it's so small, it doesn't feel as necessary, I guess. It just feels like, god damn it, this is like, you know, going down a hallway and getting slapped in the face a thousand times. Yeah, if you stack on the length of the gutter with uh, the gulch, uh, like, it becomes. Oh, god damn it, Luke Teal. Where the hell are you going? Jesus. Come on, hurry this way. <laughs> she literally went out of her way to get poisoned. <laughs> okay, give this another shot. You can see why I don't summon AIs. They annoy me. <laughs> it's like babysitting. Ugh. It's like, Jesus, look at you. You gotta take care of yourself. You're walking in fire, Luke Teal. <laughs> Jeez. That's the Lair's thing. Yeah, it's not worth doing the heavy, heavy swings. Ugh, I don't like this. She's like, really... It's only gonna take a couple hits for her to like be in bad, bad shape. Okay, good. Focus on me. Shit. 
See if she dies. Like, right now. There. <laughs> Luca Teal barely survived. <laughs> oh, that was so weird. Okay. Well, the thing is, is you can't have them die in this, right? Because of the uh, trophy. Oops. Jumping's the other button. A little on fire, but it's okay. We did it! Just barely! <laughs> Hopefully the plan is tonight we'll get Luke Teal's, uh... What the hell's the door? I remember having a hard time with this before, too. It's like... That's back to the gulch. There it is! Um... Hopefully we'll get Ben Hart's and Luke Teal's done tonight, though. Because I feel, I feel like I can potentially fast-track the... Uh, uh, windmill. Alright. Has to live three times. Well, so far, we're two for two. Whoops, I shouldn't touch that. That was dumb. <laughs> well, actually, I think I can just go back. So it's not that bad. I thought there was an item for a second, that's why I went over to it. I'm like, I don't remember those glowing. Sends Fortress 2.0. Uh, yes, yeah, okay, right, the windmill. Yeah, it pretty much is, I agree. That's definitely like the direction I think they were going with it. That was the intention behind it. Because, like, that's the thing is, like, every area in Dark Souls 2 parallels an area in Dark Souls 1 to some extent. Well, maybe not every area, there's like, but the majority of them do. Alright. Put a point into... I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> Intelligence, because why not? Alright, so... Jeez, we have a lot of souls. How close are we to our next level? Okay... I don't think I'm that close. Might be able to get there. 20. 10. There we go. I know someday we're going to be using hidden weapon and it's going to be amazing. Hey, Sam. What you up to? Okay, so let's go fight some skeletons now. Which fortunately we don't have to take anyone with us to do, so. Uh, but hopefully the goal tonight would be to beat Iron Keep. That would be really nice. Because I think I can beat Iron Keep and. We might be able to do Ben Hearts tonight, I guess. I don't know. It's a little hard to tell. It's a little bit of a... Uh, that would be definitely... The, if we get a lot done. If we get a lot done, we'll probably get to his, but... But, anyway, so other than, like, picking away at this a little bit, did a little bit of Enter the Gungeon, slowly making progress, it's been good though, it's been really good. It's definitely like put a cramp in streaming Dark Souls 2, I'll say that much. Cause I was like, most of this week I was like, I have to 
like really make room for Dark Souls 2, and it hasn't happened. Because I've mostly been playing Edge of the Gungeon, and it's been so good. Oh, hey. Ow. Butts. Rolling is weird. <laughs> Rolling is really weird. Uh, to get, um... To get Lucatils? Yeah, it's... Oh, right, right. Yeah, I suppose so. Interesting. Uh... So anyways, I guess we'll go see what the Skeleton Lords are like. This was kind of a joke fight the first time, but I could see this game potentially very hard. It definitely has more HP. Oh, well, that one seemed like it did. These are like skeleton lifeguard chairs. I don't know what's going on in this area. I think that I think he fell on that fire and it hurt him. Oh, wow, it got really busy in here all of a sudden. Oh jeez. Okay. <laughs> God, it's getting like. Ah, uh, there's a lot of skeletons. A lot more this time. Oh, jeez. Let's just not get swarmed. That's the main thing. <laughs> it's like li Oh, shit. There's a bone wheel. Oh, God. That's like literally the worst thing that could happen. <sighs> shit. Okay, let's back it up. Lure out that bone wheel. Hey, I didn't need that. Okay. Oh, I see it. This is like a skeleton lifeguard chair. Oh, there we go. Found you. Uh oh, this is bad. I'm more scared of this fight than I really should be, but I feel like it might... I could see it turning on a dime. <laughs> Plus, well, there was bone wheels. And... Ooh. <laughs> Pick up some humanity, I guess. That couldn't have been all the skeletons. Well, I guess it was. Oh, four to six to eight bone wheels? That would be awful. Oh my god. That could be a wall. <laughs> I broke their chair. I'm a jerk. Ow. Where the hell does this go? Is there a door here? Oh, okay, it's on the same wall. No, oh, okay, that's... It's this way. It's super weird, because warping has totally, like, most of these little, like, one... like, one-time routes that you take, uh, I don't remember well. Ugh, that would be insane. I don't think I can handle six to eight bone wheels. I don't think they're as bad in this game as they are in the first Dark Souls, so... In the first Dark Souls, they might be the hardest enemy in the game. Honestly, they've 
I think they are easily the hardest enemy in the game. <laughs> you think things are like, okay, finding one bone wheel, as soon as you get two on screen, it's like, oh god. <laughs> Okay, so... We gotta find uh, Lucatil here too. Bonfire lit. Oh, okay. See, I haven't fought them a lot, so I'm not 100% sure. completely forgot her name. I just keep calling her Stone Lady because she sells me stones. <laughs> Might as well, right? Does talking to her poison me? <laughs> I see. So I'm not 100% sure where Lucatil is in this area, but that skeleton's listening to the wall. Careful, <laughs> see? That's right. <laughs> 